Hey lovebirds, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Lovet and I'm back with another song from Elvis Presley singing in the ghetto. Okay guys, so this is the first time I'm listening to this song and it was highly requested by you guys and i'm going to be checking it out today so guys if you're new to this channel please after watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe join the family turn on the bell notification so you always get notified once a new video drop okay guys so without further ado let's get right into this video as the snow flies On a cold and gray Chicago morning, a poor little baby child is born in the ghetto. And his mama cries. Cause if there's one thing she don't need is another. Guys, like, this is more of a story than the music, guys. This is more of a story than the music. This is a story i don't know if it's real but this looks so real so let's continue let me take it back a little because if there's one thing she don't need is another you grow to be an angry young man someday I take a look at you and me And we do plan to see Do we simply turn our heads and look the other way Well, the world turns And a hungry little God, do you, I don't know. I've not been in. I'm not been in that situation before. I've never been homeless. But guys, what I know is that when you are frustrated, when you don't have money, when you don't have help, that I've um that I have experienced, it feels like homeless to me because you don't know. You don't have anybody to help you. You are just alone. You feel so angry. So I'm just imagining like being like really homeless homeless you don't have anywhere to stay sleeping in the streets like like i do see a lot of people in that situation but guys i always do go home and thank god for my life at least i have roof all over my head because i don't want to feel that pain so i just begin to think about all those people how they feel how is it how is life for them like it's so sad guys it's so sad seeing a lot of people in mostly in africa nowadays a lot of youths are, are homeless when you go to my country go to lagos there are a lot of youths not even you kids that that are just 10 years 13 years already smoking in their head their life is wasted like doing a lot of bad things to survive because they don't have parents they don't have rules they don't have anywhere to go they're just what we call thugs in our country that's how they turn out to be they they do not turn out to be um, a good people they turn out to be a very bad people because of the way they have lived their life because of the situation they found themselves gosh let's continue guys this is this is so touching this is more of a life like life experience not experience i have not experienced it but i've seen it i've seen a lot of things like that i've seen a lot of people i've seen a lot of kids in that situation this is so true and so real let's continue guys and a hungry little boy with a runny nose plays in the street as a cold wind blows in the ghetto and his hunger burns so he starts to roam the streets at night and he learns how to steal and he learns how to fight in the ghetto that's what I just said. They would definitely know how to steal. In desperation, the young man breaks away. He buys a gun, steals a car, tries to run, but he don't get far, and his mama cries. 
Wow, that is exactly how their life is def definitely ends ends up. Their life ends up in in that in that way because they don't have hope. They don't have what what, what do you expect them to do? Rather than hold guns, buy guns, and start stealing and start doing things, anything to survive. Gosh, this is so painful. So painful. As a crowd gathers round, an angry young man face down in the street with a gun in his hand in the ghetto. And as her young man dies, on a cold and gray Chicago morning, another little baby child. And his mama cried. <sighs> what a wasted life. What a wasted and painful life. Like no one has to bring a child to this world to suffer and becomes a monster no one wants to have a monster as a child just because of the environment and the where he was born into the situation he was born into that's why he became who he became but it's 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 not his fault I wish he, if he has a better life, if he has a better space, a place to stay, if he has opportunity to go to school, he will definitely become somebody else, like better person. Yeah. So that's that's why I really love people that do go out there to help in adopting some kids that are homeless, some adopting some kids that that need parents because it started all. As a child, it started when they are child. They, 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 they don't just grow up to become that kind of a person. It started when they are growing up because it's at that time their brain can be easily brainwashed. They can things think uh, um, they don't have the, you know they don't have other experience than what they are in, born into to live in the street to do anything to survive to definitely they start develop, developing that. Um, thought of being a thief starts doing buckling going to people's house even though even they don't even feel it when they kill someone yeah that is it guys so it's so painful it's so painful so every i would just i don't know i wish that i have this is my dream this is my dream and i know one day i will god will definitely answer all my prayers because i decided not to have more kids because I want to have enough money for my family and my to help my child to take care of my kids but I also have another plan which is caring for the homeless caring for the people that like adopting a child that needs a parent and also helping out with others that I don't have I pray that I have enough money to accomplish my wish because in my country where i'm from a lot of people are homeless a lot of people are suffering they don't have place to go you where they live they live in a very unspeakable area unspeakable place that i can't even begin to imagine like seriously you see people living in a ghetto where when the rain falls their houses are full of floods they don't have even where to sleep their beds are inside water they are eating inside a stinking water there are so many things out there there are so many people living in abject poverty so tell me now kids that are born in that kind of situation how do you expect like what do you expect them to become they will definitely become a monster they will definitely become what the society doesn't want so what i'm saying is that if you have even elite you just try to help people that don't have at all you guys that have enough try and don't be stinging don't be stinging help others because people are really suffering go to africans go to uh, african african countries you see a lot of people that are suffering and they definitely they need real help real help so that this kind of 
things that we don't add, add because later now we say ah they are thieves they are this they are that people are like in my country there are a lot of thieves there are a lot of armed robbers there are a lot of all those kind of things because this is how they lived that was how they were brought up that was what they found themselves they don't have anything to do even the government doesn't have job for them so what do you expect from them that is it guys so this is all i just i'm i'm so done for them right now this really hurt me i'm not shedding tears but i'm really odd because i have not experienced it but i've seen a lot of people that are in that situation i've witnessed a lot so that's why i'm talking from experience so i'm literally talking from experience guys so that's it guys so thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for staying to this time <clears throat> i've been talking for over how many minutes now how many minutes now so guys thank you so much for staying and after watching don't forget to before leaving don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on the bell notification so you always get notified once a new video drop okay guys so see you on my next video for now stay safe and stay blessed Bye bye